For whatever reason, the Idaho State men's basketball team can't seem to put together two good halves after overcoming a 20-point deficit on Thursday night and an overtime win against Northern Arizona. The Bengals look to put together two good halves tonight. The Bengals hosting Southern Utah. The Thunderbirds are last in the conference in standings. First half, ISU leads 16 to 11. Gina Luzcanzo knocks down the tray ball with a broken bone in his left hand. Head coach Bill Evans said it shouldn't affect him. Clearly, it isn't. Later in the first, Ethan Telfer misses the layup. Luzcanzo is there for the board, and he fights for the putback. Gets fouled, but he misses the free throw. Bengals lead 23 to 11. Later in the first, it's the Gina Luzcanzo show. He dunks it, but gets a technical for hanging out for too long. Believe it or not, though, other guys did play tonight, like Belint Moxon, who had a career high 15 points on the night. Bengals lead 33 to 16. Then a little bit later, it's Telfair hitting a deep NBA three. He had a game high 21 points and added eight assists. Then it's Brandon Boyd wanting to get in on the tray ball action as well. The Bengals shot 56 percent on threes tonight, and then. It's going to be Eric Nacken knocking down a tray ball as well to close out the first half for ISU to the second. Much of the same. ISU comes up with the steal. Telfer brings it down the court, dishes it to Boyd, who knocks down the tray ball. Bengal shot 52% on the night. Southern Utah shot just 30%, and the final score shows just that. The Bengals win it 94-68. to